Hi friends, it's Miss White. And I am here today um, to kind of take what Mrs. Neal and Mrs. Donishvar did the last couple days and put them together. Okay, and so just to kind of review a little bit, uh, Mrs. Donishvar had talked about the penny and um, a couple things about the penny, right? It is, is it copper or silver? I like the color and what it's made out of. It is a copper, it is made out of copper, and um, Abraham Lincoln is on the front. So you can see Abraham Lincoln is on the front. And how much is the penny worth? Yes, one cent, okay? So the penny is worth one cent. Now, Mrs. Neal talked about the dime, okay? And the dime, it's a little bit um, harder for me at least to remember who's on the dime. Um, and that's Franklin Roosevelt. And so we have Abraham Lincoln is on the penny and Franklin Roosevelt is on the dime. Okay. And so the dime since does that doesn't really look like the penny because the dime is made out of silver and copper, silver, copper, the penny is worth one cent and the dime is worth yes, 10 cents. Okay. So 10 cents, one cent. Now, Mrs. Neal had kind of showed you and compared the size, right? The dime is the smallest coin. However, it is really similar. It's pretty similar to the penny, okay, in, in size. So um, the, the biggest difference is that the penny is worth one, the dime is worth 10. And so today we're gonna combine the two, okay? And so what that means is sometimes, you know, you're not just going to have pennies, straight pennies, or dimes. A lot of times, um, let's say in your couch cushions, there you might find some change, okay? And so let's say that we, we found four dimes and five pennies, okay? And instead of using the real change, Miss White's going to draw them um, using our quick dimes and quick pennies, okay? So if we found, four dimes these are my dime my quick dimes because they have the 10 inside which means they're worth 10 cents each and then we found five pennies right and the penny is worth one cent that's why i put a one okay the biggest thing when counting with change and coins is that you always want to start with the um highest coin amount so which is higher the dime or the penny well pretty obvious right the the dime so we're always going to start counting our dimes first you can count it the other way you could start with the pennies but the most um the quickest way to do it would be to start with the highest coin amount in this case we have dimes all right so we're going to start with the dimes and then we're going to when then we're going to go over to the the pennies Okay, so everyone get ready because you're going to count by tens with me because you all are amazing counters. Okay, we're gonna start with 10. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, stop. Now we're gonna take 40, we're gonna count on 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Four dimes and five pennies make 45 cents 45 cents and like mrs donna Schwar and mrs neil taught you that little symbol um to um say uh cents is that c with a line through 45 cents easy peasy right super easy so let's try a couple more. I'm trying to think where you find a lot of change at. Ooh, in my house, we find a lot of different coins like in our washing machine, um, in our dryer, if they, fit, uh, if they fall out of our pockets. So one time I went down to um, do some laundry and this is what I found, okay? Here we go. I found 
five dimes and three pennies. That's what I came up with. Um, so again, what are we gonna start with? We're always gonna start with the highest coin amount, okay? Which is our dimes. And here we go. We're gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, counting on 51, 52, 53. So we have five dimes and three pennies make 53 what? 53 cents. So I have that C with a line through it. 53 cents. Okay. So today you have a few problems that you will be solving. Um, they'll give you the dime, how many dimes and how many pennies are there. And then you just have to tell us um, what that answer or how many cents that makes. Okay. And uh, don't be afraid. Please uh, use change if you do have change and use these quick drawings. It didn't take Miss White any time. Okay. Um, let us know if you have questions and um, yeah, have fun with it. We'll see you soon. Bye bye now.